All right, so I wanted to shoot this video. A couple of weeks ago, I picked up a 2006 Big Dog Pitbull uh, from a place in Maryland. They had just gone through the carbs, or carb, singular, and uh, said that everything was redone. Um, I had some issues with it, uh, both in the idle and also with gas leaking upon stopping. I turn off the gas, gas is leaking, the float ball is completely drained by the time it stops leaking. So nothing was coming out of the drain hose that was initially on the side. I found that it appeared as though it was coming from the accelerator pump um, housing or the plate. And so, again, I'm no motorcycle mechanic, but after doing a little bit of research online, I found some good instructional videos on how to remove the bottom portion along the float ball. Everything looks pretty clean in here, uh, as can be seen. Uh, I disassembled everything. This one happens to have a uh, aftermarket hypercharger on it. Same idea though, taking that off, accessing everything. Uh, at which point, uh, the most ridiculous of circumstances, since these people own a shop and actually perform the work themselves that I've come across, uh, there's a gasket in the uh, secondary jet, which is also a 30 or 31, excuse me, because it's been it's got pipes on it now. But uh, upon removing the cap for the float ball, um, excuse me, for the uh, accelerator pump, which is here, simply removing this, this is what I'm looking at. Uh, and again, I'm a layman, I'm not a uh, motorcycle mechanic, but I think anybody looking at this that knows what they're doing can see exactly what the problem is. Now, aside from it obviously being pretty destroyed on the edge, uh, this is not how it's assembled. Uh, it's not going to function with the spring underneath it. So in reality, it's not supposed to be the way that you just saw it, which is, again, exactly how I opened it up. Everything else seems to be in place, the spring, with the balls, and the, uh, the O-rings. This should be, in this manner, kind of concave facing upward toward you, along with the spring on top, and then the cover on top of that. As you can see, the space is allotted for it here, and that enables the diaphragm to move up and down effectively and allow for the fuel to move through these passageways. Uh, that's clearly not going to work. Again, in the reverse method, where the spring is on top, as moronic as that could possibly be, and again, the diaphragm wrong side up, and as a result, you can see it was also completely chewed up. Uh, it's amazing that the bike ran really under throttle uh, effectively whatsoever. So in any case, uh, great discovery. I'm glad that uh, YouTube exists and you have some good mechanics out there that were able to correct this and that I had the fortitude to uh, pull it apart on my own and uh, see what's going on. And in the meantime, it gives me the opportunity to clean some of this sludge out again. It had just been done and it's really, to be honest with you, uh, as I just lost the bearings I read on the towel anyway, uh, in pretty clean condition and in pretty good condition. Uh, again, the float moves pretty well. It doesn't stick. It's pretty clean in there. So that much is true, but again, it had been sitting for some time, but regardless of that, uh, that was obviously assembled incorrectly. So we're going to take care of that. We'll put those balls back in there along with the spring, no worries. And we're going to get a brand new diaphragm and we'll get that in there and assemble correct. I mean, look how chewed up this thing is just mangled again, it was put in improperly. So it's always good to learn something. Cheers.